Hello and welcome to another Rygate Maths video. This one is focusing on the addition formulae part of the year two pure content for A-level maths. Sometimes known as the compound angle formulae, these provide a way to expand trigonometry that you couldn't otherwise do. For instance, a very common misconception is thinking that sine of 30 plus 60, for instance, is the same as sine 30 plus sine 60. So commonly the error is thinking that trig expands like normal brackets. A quick calculation shows that this isn't the case. Okay, so we can see that sine 60, 60 plus 30 is 90. So sine 90 is equal to 1. Sine 30, so this is the left hand side. The right hand side is sine 30 plus sine 60. Now we know that sine 30 is a half, sine 60 is root 3 over 2, which is definitely not equal to 1. If you don't believe me, type it in your calculator. So this is an error. Okay, This is a common misconception, so don't do this. Trig can be expanded in this way, or in a similar way though, using what are known as the addition formulae. You can go about deriving them using lots of geometry and triangles, but I'm not going to do that in this video. If you're particularly interested, go and look it up yourself. It's probably going to be in whatever textbook you are using. But I'm just going to tell you what they are. So the good thing about these is that they are in the formula book. You do not have to learn them. There are other for formulae that we're going to look at in a different video that you do need to learn, but they can be derived from these ones. So let's start with sine. Let's imagine we've got sine of A plus or minus B. This is equal to sine A cos B plus or minus sine b cos a. Okay, so this is really important. What this is saying is, if you can write one angle as them added together, this is also a plus. If you can write it as two angles minus each other, this is a minus. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's have a look, just using some numbers. Let's use sine of um, let's use sine 45. We can imagine this as sine 30 plus 15, which is 45. So this is going to be equal to sine 30 cos 15 plus, because this is a plus here, sine 15 cos 30. Now we know that this is going to be root 2 over 2, so let's just test it on our calculators with this side. So sine 30 cos 15 plus sine 15 cos 30 is indeed root 2 over 2. So this has confirmed what we wanted. Likewise, if we did um, something with a subtraction in the middle. So let's say sine 60, we can write 60 as 90 minus 30. For instance, this is going to be sine 90 cos 30 minus sine 30 cos 90. Okay. Again, we know that this is going to be root 3 over 2. We can test it with the calculator. Shouldn't be too, too tricky to, to see. Um, sine 90 cos 30 minus sine 
30, cos 90. Hopefully if you know your trig, this is very obvious. But just to set people straight and just make sure that everyone understands, we can see it very clearly on the calculator, which is what we wanted. So that's the way the sine one works. The cos and the tan work slightly differently. So this is the addition formula for cos. Notice two things that are different to the sine one. First off, we have both the coses here and both the sines here. Whereas before we had a mixture and a mixture, this formula works in a different way. Also, notice here, this symbol is the other way up. What this means is, whatever sign is in here, the opposite one is in here. So again, let's, let's try that with some numbers just to show what's going on. So, cos 45, we can write as cos 30 plus 15, and like we did before. So, using the formula, this is going to be cos 30, cos 15. Now, this is where it differs. Here, we have a plus, so here, we have a minus. Okay, which again, we can do on our calculator to check that everything's going fine. So we've got cos 30, cos 15, minus sine 30, sine 15. And we can see again, that's the root 2 over 2 that we expected. Verifying the other way round as well. cos 60, we can write as cos 90 minus 30, which is going to be cos 90 cos 30, plus this time, remember the sign is different, sine 90 sine 30. And again, we can see that this is going to work out to be what we expect cos 90 is 0, sine 90 is 1, so sine 30 is a half, which is what we wanted. So the tan identity we're actually going to derive. This is something that you might be required to do in the exam, not using triangles. So we're going to take tan A plus B. Now we know from our trig identities that this is going to be sine of the angle over cos of the angle. Using the formulae we just worked out, or we just looked at, sine A plus B is sine A cos B plus cos A sine B, or sine B cos A if you prefer, over cos a cos b minus this time sine a sine b. What we're going to do now is we're going to divide top and bottom by cos a cos b. The reason being, as we saw with the other identities, the sine and cos ones have sines and cos in our expansion. The tan one will have tans in our expansion. And we know that tan is sine over cos, so we want to make a lot of sine over coses everywhere. So we're going to divide by cos A cos B on top and bottom. Okay, which is going to give us sine A cos B over cos A cos B. This is going to get quite messy, but bear with. Cos A sine B over cos A cos B over cos A cos B 
over cos A cos B minus sine A sine B over cos A cos B. Tidying all this up now, we can see the cos B's here are going to cancel. And we're just left with sine over cos, which is tan. Here, likewise, the cos A's are going to cancel, and we're left with sine B over cos B. We can see here, everything's going to cancel, and we're just going to left with 1. Sine A over cos A times sine B over cos B is tan A tan B. And that's how you derive the tan of A plus B using the sine and cos addition formula. Tan of A minus B is very similar because we end up with the, with the relationship that tan of that pen is terrible. Tan of A plus or minus B is going to be tan A plus or minus tan B over 1 minus plus tan A tan B. And those are the addition formulae. You may be required to prove various results with those and things like that. We'll look at that in another video. Thanks for watching.